the Bay Area, we're so glad you're here. Amen. Praise God. Now, Virginia, back in the back Amen. of the house, there she is. That's here back there. Amen. Glad to see you, Sister Virginia. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, we want to pray for Charlotte Embray. She needs to get back down here. Yes, she Her and Natalie, they need to be here. Amen. Her mother needs to come. Yes. And, um, and, and God, God is running interference for that family. And uh, don't give up on praying for Tom. Ask God uh, to help him. Praise the name of the Lord. Got the dad here. He's praying. And I believe the boy can be here one day as we pray and seek God. Amen. And so I want everybody that's going to Macon, Georgia next week, Friday, and it's going up with us to fellowship the new church in Macon, Georgia that we're a part of and contacted. They've located a building up there, and they've got it ready for us to meet with them. And uh, we're going to be going up uh, from here around 9.30, I guess, we'll leave, something like that, about seven hours into Macon. And uh, you can stand the trip. Don't go if you can't physically stand it, because we're going and we're coming back. Um, and uh, But if you can go and, and uh, get along with the rest of us on the trip, uh, while we... Uh, uh, we'll be taking the church fans that stands right now, and uh, if no more is needed, we'll, we'll see about that. But uh, Brother Randy's located a place for us to meet up there in Macon, and uh, we're going to go up be with a man that's uh, police, uh, the police officer, pastor, and he preached that message, keep the lamb with you here the other night. Don't lose the lamb. Praise our God. So we'll be leaving Friday. Coming back, we'll be here Saturday for the weekend. And we're pilgrims and strangers on the highway. Uh, somebody said you uh, don't spend much time. Can't. There's too many bases to cover. Uh, Jesus sent his disciples out. He said, if you've gone over the cities before I come, all right. And here's what you're to do. Uh, send them out to perform his word and his work. Uh, so keep that in mind. I think they have a sign-up sheet, don't they? Brother David has it up in the sound room, but Brother David probably need to get it down here when the service ends uh, so people that are going can sign up and let us know. And um, we'll be uh, looking to that direction come Friday. Uh, the rest of our schedule is the same here all week long, uh, Monday night and Tuesday and, and uh, right on through to leave Friday. Uh, but, uh, we want to pray for Brother Matthew right over here, continually hold him up in prayer, Sister Karen as well, and uh, want to pray. I'm, yes, I first I didn't see Brother Warren. He I didn't, he wasn't in that chair when I looked over there earlier, but he's there. He's Praise there. the name of the Lord. And plus that, he's got his lovely daughter Amy right with him there. Yes. We're so glad to see you too. Amen. And. Uh, and Brother Hernandez, let's remember him in prayer for Brother Roberta. And uh, we want to pray for Don Norman as well. Sister May Ramsey, Brother Joe Knight. Uh, have Sister Knight here with us. Keep praying for Brother Joe. And all the rest of God's people that stand in need of prayer, wherever they are. Brother Beck passed away. Oh, that's another one of our ministers. That's that's the second minister now uh, of my years of being on the field. Uh, that's uh, my contemporaries across the nation. Uh, Brother Melvin Wilkinson, pastor in Terre Haute, passed away. They had his service yesterday, I believe. Um, and uh, then uh, Brother, uh, here's Brother Ernest Beck, uh, Rivers of Life over in um, Buffalo. Buffalo, Missouri. And... Uh, Beautiful church building, a wonderful man, silver-haired patrician of the gospel. And uh, Brother Beck uh, preached uh, the message of life. Life. When he got on his feet, didn't talk about death or dying. It was always life. So let's remember the folks in Buffalo, Missouri. Ask the Lord to bless that church there and to be with the people of God that are over there in Buffalo. And... Uh, uh, their pastor, their shepherds taken from them now. And so let's pray for these churches, Terre Haute, Indiana, Buffalo, Missouri. God will be with them. Amen. Praise God. Sister Karen. Yes, Matthew's got some complications with his leg. Yes, I just requested prayer for him. Okay. 
His name is on the uh, lips of everybody here. Brother Matthew sitting right over here. And uh, let's pray. Praise God. Tyler Kinzer, any better? better? All right, keep praying for Tyler. And uh, uh, let's just uh, hold uh, these different ones up in prayer that God will help them. If you've had a recent surgery, recent operation, we're praying for you and asking God to bless you and to go with you. But I tell you, I don't want to lose connection. I don't want to stay too long here in one place. Uh, I don't want to lose connection. I don't want to lose connection. An unusual spirit from God came in this place today. Amen. Unusual. And it could be telling. Let me tell you something. When the Spirit of God comes in a church like it has this afternoon, you know what it tells me? It tells me to get on the job. Pray more. Put aside the natural. Seek the kingdom of God. Get with God. Get in my prayer chamber. Get in my prayer closet. Get in there and pray. Praise the name of the Lord. It tells me to get ready because there, there's another wind coming. This yes. is one, but there's another one coming. Oh, Praise the name of the Lord. When I look out and see you wonderful people from this neighborhood and this city, it tells me that there's some hungry people here that's tired of religious stuff. They're tired of churchism. They're tired of programs. They're tired of politics. They're tired of all this stuff that calls people to a church seat and freezes them in the church seat. And they leave there the same way they come. And they, this entertainment world we build up, I'm glad we don't have any entertainment here but Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you all to know there's talent, there's gifts out here, there's musicians, there's singers, there's people that write songs. Uh, Amy, you're going to have to sing us one of your songs uh, that you've written. Uh, Plays the keyboard too, that girl does. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me tell you something. There's all kind of talent, all kind of ability. Here's preachers sitting around me. And we've got to loose this thing and let it go. The Lord said to me, the church has to be the church. Because the answer is not in the white house. It's not in the yellow house. It's not in the black house. It's not in the copper house. It's not in Fort Knox. All the gold's gone from there anyway. Praise God. <laughs> Let me tell you something right now. Let me tell you something. The only answer there is, is in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You should say his name with me, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus. Amen. Lord Christ, the anointed. Praise our God. Raise him up. Raise him up. Raise him up. We're going to pray. And when we pray, after we pray, and we get through praying, however it is and whenever it is, uh, then we'll just come down and give our offering here at our offering table. And the Lord sanctify and bless that the Sunday afternoon offering. You give as God has given to you. You give willingly, abundantly, whatever the Lord's put in your heart. The widow's might. Uh, we don't pledge. We don't barter. I don't do that in this church. I don't take pledges. I just say you obey God and do what God tells you to do. Praise the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, let's lift our hands together. Let's pray right now. In the name of Jesus, I come before you, Lord, and I raise up the Amante over Bowling Green, Kentucky, Buffalo, Missouri. Lord, I raise up the anointing over Port Charlotte. I raise up the anointing over Tampa, St. Petersburg, Clearwater, the Bay Area here. I raise up the anointing over this church today. I raise it up in the name of Jesus. I believe there's power. Power in the blood, power in the name, power in the glory of God. And I feel you right now, Lord. And I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm not ashamed to call you my healer, my savior, my Lord, my redeemer, my rose of Sharon, my lily of the valley, my bright and morning star. I thank you for the glory. I hope it has unloosed. I hope it is unbound. Hundreds and hundreds of people, thousands of people, even across the internet. I pray the spirit is flowing. I pray it's flowing like a river. I pray it's flowing in every heart and every life here. I pray that every woman, man, child will be loosed from their infirmity. 
of their fear, their loneliness, their dejection, their rejection, everything that's troubling them. Oh, when we have our baptismal service at the end of the meeting today, and before we go in our dining room to fellowship together, and before we get ready for the service tonight at 6 o'clock, there will be a glory over this place uh, that nobody can touch a car door to open it without feeling the electricity of the power of God. Amen. You can even slay us in the parking lot. You can slay us in the dining room. You can slay us here. You can lay us out in the Holy Ghost. We're here to give you the praise. We're here to give you the glory. And Lord, if there's a cancer, if there's an illness, if there, and there are, if there is any kind of affliction in this place physically, loose it and let it go. If there's a mental, emotional, or spiritual problem here, loose it and let it go. In the name of Jesus, if there's a family issue, loose and let it go. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. And everybody shout glory. All right, in the name of the Lord, I'm going to give my offering. 